Group is trying once again to get two medical marijuana initiatives on the ballot. They're making sure this time they're following all the rules. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto joins us now in studio with more. Veronica. Medical marijuana advocates are trying for a third time to have voters decide on the future of medical marijuana access in our state. On Tuesday, Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana filed two petitions. One focuses on giving patients the right to use medical cannabis when a doctor deems it necessary, while the second one deals with the production of cannabis. This is the, the group's third attempt at getting the initiative on the ballot. Last year, both petitions failed to meet the state's signature requirements. I'm confident that this language follows the new precedent established by the state Supreme Court for the single subject rule, and we're confident that we're going to get the signatures. And once we do get the signatures, anybody can bring a legal challenge, but we're confident that it'll pass muster. Senator Anna Wishart, one of the co-sponsors, says they keep fighting for the families who need access in our state so that they don't need to leave. It's hard to watch someone you love, especially your child, suffer when if we lived in a different state, in a surrounding state. Um, if my zip code were different, if my family had not chosen to make this home, that my son would have access to this. A bill to legalize marijuana was introduced at the legislature early this year, but got stuck at committee. The organization Smart Approaches to Marijuana of Nebraska believes that legalizing marijuana's medical use is one step closer to its full legalization. They say this new petition is not a surprise. The medical label is simply uh, another term for marijuana that, that is utilized to uh, gain commercial acceptance and to give the industry a, a foothold and develop this retail dispensary model for, for marijuana legalization. Now, if the petitions get the signatures needed, the ballot initiative will be up for the 2024 election. For more on this story, you can visit ClockKNTV.com. Veronica, thank you very much for that story tonight.